Sergeant America coming at you. Boom. Did I get in too early on that one? I can't tell because I got this freaking sunlight in the face. Got the whole two-face thing going here. But hey, it's South Dakota. I don't get sunshine that often. So soaking it in. I had to kick a cat out of my chair just so that I could, you know, relax, get into a groove. Ah. But anyway, no edit mics and all this stuff stays in here. So uh, recently I just read V Wars, uh, Vampire Wars. Uh, the first book is The Crimson Queen. Um, IDW produced this one. It is written by Jonathan Mayberry, art by Alan Robinson, colors by Jay Photos. Um, it's the idea that the polar ice caps have melted. And with that, we have... Uh, released a virus uh, trapped within the ice for years last time we'd seen this was during the times when vampires had come out and that's what the virus is it creates uh, vampirism in people so at any point in your life you could contract this you know just like any disease any sickness um, there's many different forms of vampirism as we've read in different books you know the Nosferatu's um, there are variations through African lore on how vampirism is, uh, Japanese lore on how vampirism or demon kind of things are. Uh, so it's very interesting. I mean, some of them blend into us. Some of them are, you know, like Nosferatu are so ugly they can't. Uh, the European idea on some of them. Um, you know, the Dracula, though, that, you know, you can be looking like a regular person and totally vamp out. So it was very interesting to see this. Um, Luther Swan is our main character. He is a professor who comes home to find out his youngest daughter has contracted it and has killed his family. Um, this is well, The idea with the vampirism is that because anybody could catch it, um, it is a fear. It's a fear that any of us have. Um, that, you know, this is a horrible thing. These are, you know, monsters it creates. And so we need to do something about it. But what we also find out through um, Luther is that there are those who contract it and live lives normally. They drink animal blood. Um, they're just like everyday people. Uh, they some of them still though look like monsters, but they are you know because there are some that have actual bat heads, but are just as nice as anybody else. So. Um, the V Wars is very interesting. Uh, as you can see, I got it digitally. I used Hoopla. That's an app through my library system, so I'm able to get uh, comic books, movies, uh, audio books, all that free. I get like 10 downloads uh, a month. So, you know, it, it does sway my idea on this. I mean, I, I don't judge as harshly as if I paid a bunch of money for this. Um, I liked it. It was a very strong book. The The character Luther was well written. Um, the idea of the fear creating the war. Uh, and then he meets a reporter and everybody's challenging her on what is the truth of this? You know, who is generating this war? Um, are we looking at a genocide? Because these are people, just like you and I, who have a disease. Uh, the, the disease, of course, is vampirism. It's very horrible in some effects. Um, but don't they still retain their constitutional rights? So while I'm sure this is a disease that runs over the entire planet, uh, it is definitely focused mainly on North America, definitely USA. So um, I hope you guys get a chance to read this. It was interesting in those notes. Um, it was definitely worth a strong read. Uh, were I to purchase it, I would rather purchase it and trade at a reduced price. Um, it definitely, it, you know, wasn't the thing it wasn't, you know, there were other books I was reading in between this and on some of my other reviews, I tell you, there are some that I just devour, I devour straight through, um, like black science and, uh, other ones from independent publishers. Uh, this one was, it was, like I said, a good read, but it, it didn't cry out for me to have to dig in and finish it. Uh, it does touch on notes of horror, but definitely a little more psychological, a little bit more social. So I definitely hope that you enjoyed the review. Vote with your dollars, though. It'd be great if you can get to the library and get this for free uh, so you can buy all your figures and toys and books and whatnot. But definitely, I just have to say, catchphrase. Phrase.